be doing a full sewing with a lace closure with minimal leave out on my client. This is her natural hair. She has a lot of healthy natural hair and we're trying to keep it healthy. So we're going to protect it by installing a lace closure on her. What I did here, I went ahead and I sectioned off, um, well I braided up what I would be leaving out for her because she is getting a full sewing with minimal leave out. She want to be able to pull her hair back a little bit without it being noticeable that she's wearing um extensions she's also in i'm also installing her lace closure behind her hairline which looks more realistic to me in my opinion it looks more natural versus the closure being all the way up on your um your head itself on your face i mean on your face so what i'll be doing now is going ahead and starting to braid down for her Right here, I'm just starting my foundation for my lace closure sewing. Um, when you do your foundation, you do want to make sure that your foundation is really secure. But don't braid too tight. Because once you start sewing the tracks and on the lace closure on, the tension is something that will cause your hair, your client's hair to break off. So don't braid your client's hair extremely tight, but you want a nice, solid foundation. Okay, so I went ahead and I braided my client completely down. Um, like I said, this is going to be her leave out because she wanted her lace closure sewing to look a little, a little bit more realistic and natural looking. So I made sure to braid these braids that, that her lace closure will lay on. I make sure to braid those really, really flat because you don't want a bulky sewing, uh, well, a bulky lace closure. And you want it to be extremely flat, as flat as possible. But you don't have to have the smallest braids. As long as they're neat and flat, you can, that's a good foundation for a lace closure sewing. So basically, when I sew her lace closure on, I kind of already defined my part in the lace closure. So it makes it easier to sew it on and make it easier to line up the lace closure part in with my client's natural part in. So when I sew it on, it'll lay really flat against her, her scalp. And it'll look something like this. So what I'll do is go ahead and install this lace closure and then I'll come back. While she's holding this side for me, I'll go ahead and start tacking this um, side down with needle and thread. Right here, I'm just attaching the other side of the lace closure down onto my my client's braids. Normally, we would use a weaving net, but at this time, I didn't have one for my client. But any type of sewings you do, it's best to use a weaving net because that protects your client's hair from tension because thread does put a lot of tension on the hair and it causes breakage. But my client's hair is really oiled down, so her hair will be fully protected. Okay, so I've already installed her lace closure, and what I'll do now is begin sewing in her hair. She is using um, Brazilian Body Wave 30, 28, 26, 24, 22. Um, this is her fourth install using this same exact hair. She has colored it. She has washed it bleached it twice she's she's did a lot to this hair this hair has been through hell and back <laughs> and so first i'm going to go ahead and tackle her braid down Once you tackle the braids down, you can begin to sew on your, your first bundle. Make sure to install that first track underneath your client's braids. So just in case they want to pull their hair up into the ponytail, you don't see any visible tracks. So as I said, I'm going to go ahead and continue to sew these tracks on and then we'll keep on moving.
we're almost finished. We've reached the top. And all you have to do is just continue to sew your tracks onto those braids. Um, just keep going until you reach to the top of your lace closure and make sure you get your your tracks to lay as close to that lace closure as possible. Okay, so I've completed her entire sew-in. I made sure to get her tracks um, close to her closure really, really tight. Um, I just have to finish um, tacking down the closure in the front because I always save this part for last. Because when I sew my closures in, I sew the sides on first. And then I do the rest. I install the bundles in the back. And then I go ahead and I tighten this part down. Because if you don't tighten this part down, some people leave it like that so that way they can move their, their part in and stuff. But to me, I feel like to add an extra layer of security is good to tackle this part down. So I'll go ahead and I'll tackle this part down so that way it'll lay over her braid and her braid won't be visible. And then as you can see, her part is already in there. But I'll go ahead and tackle the closure part down. We tack the... The closure down and I did add some tracks in, in between just to add fullness for her bang because she likes really full bangs. Okay, so I'm gonna um put some heat protectant on her leave out and then I'm going to go over her leave out just one time I don't recommend nobody um, going over more than once I go over every little area just one time you definitely don't want heat damage that's the whole reason I love getting a closure as well as doing very minimal leave out Okay, this is her lace closure up close and personal. It looks very natural. You can't even tell that she's wearing a lace closure. And here's the finished product. I did curl her hair off camera, but I can add a curling tutorial if you guys would like. So make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, and just tell me what other videos you would like to see. As you can see here, she's definitely feeling herself with her HBN extensions. Um, she did custom color her hair herself. Um, but if you would like, like I said, ladies, if you would like to see more videos like this or if you would like to see a detailed curling video, I can definitely add it for you. Thank you for coming to my channel and see you guys next time.